Hej, hej, witam serdecznie. Z tej strony Mario. Zapraszam do oglądania 12 odcineczka z Control. I lecimy takim tutaj widoczkiem. Teraz tak, on ma coś tutaj ciekawego do powiedzenia. Szafa grająca, ciekawa. Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Well, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. No one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where. Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have brought back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. Uh-huh. Dobra. Widzę, że mogę wy wypytać co nieco. Oh fuck, don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranormal stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. <sighs> fucking lab coats, man. I'm making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, <laughs> at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, now he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? Chicago. <laughs> Your security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends the Rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. Lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. No, I didn't want to know. Dobra, a Marshall? What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. Hmm. Yeah. Well, check out, but no, it's not pushing. Me too. You're not the only one. Więc się od niego nie dowiemy. No, stop with that. Dobra, ale czy ja bym to chciał robić? Mm. O! Eee, tu jest do szafy. Żetony do szafy grającej. Czy ja mogę sobie kupić, kurde, żeton? 
za te całe punkty, tak? Dobra, nie mam nic, nic dostępnego. I właśnie, bo tu już zapomniałem, że ubrania są, ale nie mam nic więcej. Dobra. Co ja chciałem zrobić? Tu. Tutaj chciałem iść. Jest tutaj więcej dokumentów, zobaczmy. Analiza mowy. Zdolności językowe. Jest tu kurde więcej dokumentów. Czy ja się nie rozglądałem tutaj w ogóle wcześniej? Ej nie, no w sumie nie. Tak ja mogłem... Takiego prostego tutaj manewru nie zrobić, jak rozejrzeć się. Dobra, pogadajmy Emily. No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? John is. How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse? Be careful. <laughs> no, właśnie, be careful. Eee... Dobra, lecimy do niego. Czyli co? Eee, na piętrze, czyli tędy. Eee, nie tu. Tutaj? Tak, jest Dylan. Co jest? Dylan? Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this to be true. Can you stop that? True. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. <laughs> It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you! This is not safe! We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. 
<laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge. Yuck, the fuck? You are home. home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I need a warm as a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Sister, the horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a warm through time. You are a warm through time. The thunder's hope mm. distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls but yellow. Massacre, so. Through a mirror the interesting pogadach. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. Mm. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. <laughs> Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are a warm through time. The thunder's hope distorts you. Kill this psychic. Dobra, nastaw płytę. Lecimy na tej szafie grającej. Kurde. Ale wiecie co? Czekajcie. Jeszcze na chwilkę tylko wrócę. Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. Hmm. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. 
You'd make coffee and deliver the mail, and there was always plenty of work to do. <laughs> and it stayed that way, forever and ever. It was nice, really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted, and none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game, and it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or maybe it was another dream already. Or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. Something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. Dobra. Chciałem jeszcze wysłuchać więcej, ale widzę, że tutaj są opcje, wiecie, opcja za opcją. A teraz tak. No jestem w centralnym kierownictwie. A... Ha, dobra, czekajcie, czy... Co ty masz do powiedzenia? I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My own ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, they were supposed to get the beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prep for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish, and I won't let them stay hiss. Okay. I need to cover them, ma. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Oh, no, I miss ya. Kurwa, tych misji się tutaj zaraz zrobi. A co ty chcesz mi teraz powiedzieć? Po krótkiej pogawędce z naszym bratem? I've taken numerous tissue samples and have tests running as we speak, but from the initial data, he looks healthy. I only see corruption in a superficial way. What does that mean? I don't know. This is all new. But if he's like you, maybe Polaris is preventing total his takeover. Or maybe this is just a new form of his. We've already seen how it affects people in different ways. Dylan told me he let the his in. Does that change anything? Voluntary conversion. I mean, hypothetically, that could affect the mental state post-corruption, as well as the extent of biological alteration. But again, this is new territory for me. I'll need time. You won't have it. I'm gonna shut down this live projector. That's how the hiss are getting in. Once I close it, this should all be over. Jesse, we don't know how this works. If you sever their connection to the source, it could cause a terminal chain reaction. Every his corrupted individual dead. Better that than what Dylan is now. I'm shutting it down. This has to end. Whatever happens, happens. 
Okay, just let me know how I can help. Thank Powie you. Powiedz mi, gdzie to jest. No. Ja pierdolę, będzie tak siadać co chwilę. Did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? I didn't. Who is she? She was, is a colleague of mine. A researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. No one does. Look, I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? Uh... I wanted to talk to you about the crazy things I can do. My abilities. I get the sense that they're not very usual around here. Well, usual and unusual aren't really benchmarks at the Bureau, but for some perspective, Director Northmore once used the floppy disk to send a bowling ball six yards through the air, and that was considered a huge deal. So compared to that, you are most certainly an outlier. An outlier. I like the sound of that. Uh, the, the you learned anything about Dylan's condition? Only that he's definitely his, but I guess his chanting made that pretty obvious. You know, interestingly, the words of the his incantation have an average length of four letters. The most common word used seven times is want. The next most common are through and time. That's very interesting, don't you think? I don't care about the words. What about my brother? Right. Sorry, I got a little off track. Well, strangely, his tissue samples all look healthy, unlike the other his I've tested. That's good news. Right? Hmm. Well, I've been seeing these darling presentations all over. Seems like he enjoys the limelight. So you noticed, huh? When he recruited me out of college, he actually came to visit. He interrupted my physics course by shouting, uh, not quite, professor, and then marching down to the front of the class where he proceeded to berate the very idea of laws of thermodynamics. <laughs> He's been a showboat all his life. Darling visited you in college? Yeah, he read a paper I'd published, came to recruit me for the bureau. I accepted and then spent years waiting for access to the confidential research that Darling promised me. And whenever I ask about my access level, he just mumbles that it's temporarily postponed and then changes the subject to the effect of entropy on luck. I wonder who else Darling hit his work from. Marshall? Yeah. Trench? Mniejsza. Dobra, wychodzimy z tego. Don't let me hold you up. A już 23 minuty odcinka z samego kurde gadania dzisiaj. Dobra, co ja mogę takiego zrobić? Nastaw płytę. Uuu. Ale tego jest, ja pierdzio. Starzy znajomi. Węzły z Siku. Sektor zamknięty. 14 minut. Gdzie to spróbujmy zrobić to? A teraz gdzie to jest? Sektor zamknięty, czyli... Kurde. Czyli tak, winda. Tutaj, tu, tu był sektor zamknięty. Ok. I zobaczmy, co, o co tam chodzi. Dobra, ja wam spauzuję. Dobra, jesteśmy. Korytarz tranzytowy. Teraz gdzie jest korytarz tranzytowy? Jo, 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 jo. Cholera wie.
Dobra, kolejny. Cholerstwo. Ej, 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 ej. Ci kurwa dam strzelać do mnie. Dobra, dostał. Dobra, wszyscy. Powybijani. Eee, teraz tak. Korytarz tranzytowy, gdzie to jest? Mida sektora, to nie. Eee. Nie wiem, gdzie to może być. Szczerze mówiąc. Szybkie przemieszczanie, czekajcie. Mm. Tu coś jest. Tutaj aż. No tamto ja się nie dostanę, bo tam mnie nie było jeszcze. O. Tu zobaczcie, ile tego jest jeszcze do odkrycia. Jasny gwint. Hm. Tylko teraz pytanie. Jak ja mogę się tam dostać? Czy na przykład przez te takie drzwi? Ej. Prawdopodobnie. Coś tam jest. Ktoś potrzebuje pomocy, więc... Gdzie jesteś? Ej. Dobra, tu ktoś jest. I'm here. What happened to you? I got in a little scrap. Widzicie to po lewej? I... Oh, ah. Is he gonna be okay? Don't look at me like that. I'm fine. But Wells is still in there. You gotta get him out. Who's Wells? My squad mate. We were hunting a runaway altered item. We followed it down into the clocks. The clocks. A threshold. The bureau sealed it up years back because of all the clocks. Stefan Pragova. We followed the altered item inside, but the way it was acting, we weren't ready. Me and Wells were the only ones to make it to the motel court. He was right behind me, but he never showed up on this side. I'll go find him. But first, you need to get to a medic. Wells is the medic. Please. You gotta get him out of there. I'll be fine, really. Rube can patch me up later. Fine, but I'll be back for you. I damn well hope so. <laughs> Just use the motel cord there. It should get you into the clocks. Sorry, the threshold. Dobra. A to może się już kolejnym odcinku tam przeniosę. A na razie sobie skarnę tutaj. Jakiś zasobik. Co tym razem? O. No i właśnie, widzicie, i tu jest teraz właśnie te takie ala przejście. Ty, ale tutaj nic nie ma. Ja w ogóle w drugą stronę poszedłem. No dobra, ho. I znowu hotel. Dobra, zróbmy chociaż ten hotel. Czyli tak. Jolo. Aha, zegorki. O co chodzi z tym zegarkiem? 
Będzie się tak kręcił? A ja go zatrzymałem. Ej, dobra, tu jest. 15 po czwartej mam go zatrzymać chyba. Ej, jest ta sama godzina, kurwa. Dobra. Za 10, 9. Czyli chyba muszę poczekać, aż ten zegar przejdzie w dane miejsce. Za 10. Ej. Dobra, po prostu tak, tak samo mogę go zatrzymywać. Dobra, trafiłem. Co teraz? Ostatnie drzwi. O, 12 po pierwszej. Mniej więcej. 12 po pierwszej. Już widzę zegar. Dobra. Ok. Gdzie są moje klucze? Te klucze się tu pojawiły. Ej, dobre, kurde. Coraz bardziej mnie to rozpierdziela tutaj. Ten ala hotel. To jest najgorsze, nie? Z tego wszystkiego. O. This Wells guy can't be far. Okej. Okay. Już... Słyszę syk. Już go słyszę gdzieś w okolicy. Dobra, iść prawdopodobnie będę musiał tędy. Aha. Kupa krwi. Dobra, mamy tutaj kolejne jakieś fajne miejscówkę. Zajebiste jest to strzelanie serią. I dobra. Dostaliśmy się chociaż do nowego miejsca. Do tego co mam tutaj, to ja na pewno już nie zrobię. Ale dobra. Ja wam dziękuję za oglądanie. Zostawcie w górę, jeśli się podobało. Do następnego odcineczka. Na razie. Trzymajcie się. Cześć.